In 2015, it was widely reported that Dr. Wynne Weston Davies wanted to extract DNA from the remains of Mary Jane Kelly, the last canonical victim of Jack the Ripper. Now, the reason why he wanted to do this was because his family history research had led him to believe that Mary Jane Kelly was actually his great aunt, Elizabeth Weston Davies, and therefore Jack the Ripper could have been her ex-husband, Francis Spurzum Craig. Not long afterwards, Patricia Cornwell, the internationally renowned crime writer who's known for her meticulous research, contacted me to find out whether or not it would be even possible for a project such as this to go ahead. The DNA analysis in a case such as this is actually relatively straightforward. If the DNA from the remains is of sufficient quality, you simply carry out a DNA test to see if there's a match, such as would be expected between a great aunt and great nephew. However, what's crucial for a case such as this is that we have to know that the remains that we're looking at are actually those of Mary Jane Kelly. So what we did was we carried out a desk-based study to see if we could actually find her remains. Mary Jane Kelly was buried here in St. Patrick's Catholic Cemetery in November 1888. She was buried in a communal grave on top of five other burials. Now from here it starts to become problematic. We know that in 1940s the land was reclaimed, any grave markers removed, and a new burial system laid over top of the old one but with no information about how they related to one another. So we simply don't know the precise location of Mary Jane Kelly's grave. In order to carry out this project, we would have to disturb the remains of potentially hundreds of individuals, all of whose relatives would have to give consent for the project to go ahead, and the Ministry of Justice is highly unlikely to grant a license for the excavation. Secondly, we know of exhumations of remains from as recently as the 1950s showed that the graves are heavily waterlogged and the remains are in very, very poor condition, which would affect the retrieval of any usable DNA for this project. Given the quality of the research question and the extremely unlikely chance of success, we feel that as it stands, breaking ground on this project simply isn't justifiable. Thank you.